every day, one by one. I'm gonna try every recipe of Laura, starting from the very beginning. Come, join me on my challenge. Let's go. Hi everyone, my name is Ruta and welcome to my food challenge where I'm trying Laura in the Kitchen recipes for the very first time in front of the camera together with you. And today I'm going to try Laura's pasta with broccoli. I love broccoli and I actually missed trying out Laura's pasta dishes because they're one of my favorite recipes to try. So yummy. So if you're as curious as I am to see how it looks and tastes in the very end, then keep on watching. We're gonna need 300 grams of broccoli florets, cut into bite-sized pieces, 250 grams of pasta, 4 cloves of garlic, sliced, 3 quarters of a cup of chicken stock, 20 grams of freshly grated parmesan, 2 tablespoons of olive oil, 15 grams of butter, a pinch of hot pepper flakes, and salt and pepper. Alrighty, let's start. If I had some sleeves, I would roll them up. I have here a large pot full of water coming to boil. And once that happens, I'm gonna season it with salt really, really well. Season with salt? Well, I'm gonna salt it. This will be for the pasta. Now here, I'm gonna cook the broccoli. I have a large nonstick skillet with sorta high sides, which I'm gonna preheat together with the olive oil and garlic so that the garlic infuses the oil over medium heat for two minutes. Okay, two minutes did nothing for me. The oil has just preheated, so I do want to cook the garlic a little bit, so I'm gonna cook for one, two more minutes. So this looks more like it. Just listen to it sizzle. Oh, such a good sound. Now I'm gonna add the red pepper flakes and cook them for 30 seconds. And now to this, I'm gonna add the broccoli, season it with salt and pepper, and cook for one minute. I forgot to press the record button. What I did was add the chicken stock to the broccoli, as you can see, it came to boil, and now I'm gonna cook it for seven minutes. And this is the perfect time to add the pasta to the boiling water, don't forget to salt the water, by the way, uh, and cook it according to package instructions. Okay, my pasta has a couple more minutes to go, so what I'm gonna do is start kind of mushing my broccoli like so, not fully, just a little bit to make the sauce thicker and kind of make them not so ginormous. I had to cut them into bite-sized pieces. Clearly, I was hungry when cutting them. And before I drain my pasta, I actually want to reserve half a cup of the starchy water for the sauce. Okay, and now the very last step, I'm gonna add the pasta, add the reserved water, parmigiano, the butter, weirdly no parsley. This is like the first recipe with no parsley. I'm gonna increase the heat to high and cook while mixing everything for one minute. not be bothered to tidy up before trying because this as simple as simple as it looks this smells so good mm. Mm. I knew it will be good I love food where I can see something green I don't know just like screams tasty to me immediately I reserved more starchy water just in case. I love when I have some sauce. Now when I'm looking at it, I guess I could have done a better job at, you know, 
chopping my broccoli <laughs> into smaller, like nicer bite-sized pieces, but honestly, I don't really care. It's tasty nonetheless. Mm. I love this. I love this. I love this flower. I will put more parmigiano on top. If I can <laughs> wait until that point and not finish this plate. This is great. I know I will be making this again. I know I shouldn't take this bite and at the same time I really wanna... What will we... Okay. Putting the fork down. Just for you. This... Love it. I honestly love it. I'm very talented at making this. This does not reflect the complexity of the recipe whatsoever. I'm just a super, super messy cook. <laughs> this is truly super quick. I urge you, I have the pasta stuck to my front too. Is the life good or what? <laughs> I suggest starting with bringing the water to boil because that was a short, short call for me when I had to put the pasta already and the water was like just coming to a boil. I was like, oh my God, will my multitasking fail? <laughs> but everything turned out perfectly. So I'd suggest starting with that because everything else is like this. Like you're like, okay, where's the next ingredient? Everything is super fast. If you like, veggies if you like broccoli especially like look how nice it looks like the green color oh and this mushing it a bit it just you know gives this little specks can you i will like drop something can you see i don't think you can like you can see small little parts of the broccoli florets on the pasta itself and it looks so good <laughs> can you tell i just love broccoli <laughs> so Here's how Laura's pasta looks like. If you want to watch her make it, the video is there in the cards. I urge you to look in the description box down below because there's a written recipe for this in both American and the metric systems. Just so that everyone could try. Oh, and that's my mom coming. One sec. Okay, I really gotta go because I have too many goodies to share. So again, the recipe is in the description box down below. I really hope that this was fun and helpful and I'll see you soon. Bye!